In this lesson, we will discuss the characteristics of first-generation computers. The capabilities of computers during their development have greatly been determined by the characteristics of the electrical components existing at the time of their development. When the electronic components were large, slow, and unreliable, the computers developed at the time were also large, slow, and unreliable. And when the electronic components were smaller, fast, and highly reliable, the computers developed were equally smaller, fast, and highly reliable. Computers that were developed during a specific period are often referred to as a generation. In this lesson, we describe the characteristics of the first generation computers of the period between 1942 and 1955. The first generation computers were very large in size. This is the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, ENIAC. It is a first generation computer. First generation computers were made using vacuum tubes. A vacuum tube was a glass device that conducted electronic signals. First generation computers used magnetic drums for internal memory. A magnetic drum is also referred to as a drum. It was a metal cylinder on which data and programs were stored. The first generation computers were very slow, they generated a lot of heat. The technology of vacuum tubes was not very reliable, they required heavy and constant maintenance. Heavy air conditioning was also required, they were mainly available to scientists and engineers. This was mainly because of their size and affordability. The cost of running first generation computers was very high. Examples of first-generation computers are shown in these pictures. The Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, which was known as ENIAC, in short. The Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator, which was known as ETSAC, in short. And the Universal Automatic Computer, which was known as UNIVAC, in short.